Here's a fly tying hack that'll get you more time on the water. The number one reason that people don't catch many fish is that they're fishing in the wrong place, fishing where the fish are. Well, one of the places where the fish are is right in front of you while you're fumbling with a size 20 fly and a 5X tippet. Getting them tied on in advance and just leaving about 18 inches or a foot of tippet to uh, trail out of the box, uh, I find it gives me more time on the stream and simplifies. There comes a number of problems in tying very tiny flies onto tippet. One is your eyes, believe it or not, are not as good as they were when you were 18 years old. Uh, number two, sometimes the temperature and the gloves that you have on makes it virtually impossible to thread that fly uh, and get a, get a good tie on it. Um, and the third reason is that by having them pre-tied, you only have to tie one knot if you're doing a dropper. Um, and, you know, you can leave it tied on the tippet. Just take the, uh, the dropper off the uh, top fly and you're ready to go. Okay, here we're tying a uh, uh, modification of uh, Miracle Midge, uh, a black body, a rib of uh, thin silver wire, and then what I like to put on is a, uh, a foam back. So it's, it's an emerging midge, size 20, very small, and I'm actually tying it on a red hook. Who knows? I'm using a U203 red size 20 curved hook. Some uni thread, uh, dark brown, 80 thread. Some ultra wire, small and silver. A little goes a long way. Anchor that in. Build up a little bit of body. And then I'm going to put a little wax on the thread. This wax comes from some beeswax that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Those bees were alive back in the 1890s. Always good to have a little extra karma and tie it into your fly. Wrap some ice dub peacock black for body. You notice I'm not perfect. I always have a little too much, a little too short of the amount of dubbing that I put on the thread. And take wraps up, segmenting the body with a silver wire. I'll tie it off. And then give it some twirls to break off the uh, small silver wire. I'm not a professional, so you can expect there to be plenty of mistakes. On the other hand, the fish don't know. I'm tying on some closed cell white foam for the wing case, since this is an emerger. I've tried using foam from around the house, but what you can get at a fly shop is it seems to be a lot nicer. Some more of that beeswax from the 1890s. A little goes a long way. I'm wrapping on uh, a head of a little bit different color dubbing, but you noticed I have already screwed up the eye of the hook. It's invisible. You can't even see it now. I'm going to throw on a couple half inches to, tie, <coughs> to anchor the thread. A 
There's just not enough room to do a whip finish. I'm going to clean out the eye. Cut off about 12 to 18 inches of 5x after I trimmed the wing case down. actually pretty easy to thread this when it's on the vise. I'm going to tie a double Davy knot, which is quite easy to do on the vise. Just three or four quick turns, thread it through the loop, and then a couple of more turns, and thread it through the loop again. This knot doesn't have to be lubricated, they say. I never do. Um, and you can tell that you've got it right if when you tighten up the knot the tag end comes out at a right angle. I've never had this knot fail. It's also really easy to, to tie during cold weather out on the stream. Check out my other videos on YouTube John Davenport Fly Fishing or check out my books on Amazon John Davenport Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Get out there and try that fly out.